everybody, Cray Spartan, and unfortunately our Halo 5 beta has finally come to an end, and we're going to have to wait ugh, another 10 months, another 10 months before we can play the Halo 5 again. Now, maybe you guys might get to be able to play it sooner, because it'd probably be at RTX and uh, probably PAX and stuff like that, if you guys can go to those things, which would be great. You know, I'd be glad to see your guys' feedback if you do get to be able to uh, go to these events. But for the rest of us, like like me, I'm going to have to wait until uh, November. Cause, uh, and they haven't announced November, just so you know. But I, I, I'm just assuming the normal release cycle is usually November. But we're going to have to wait another 10 months. So what are we going to do from now until then? Well, first thing you really need to do is go and sign up for the community feedback program which is on Halo Waypoint. And I'm going to try and put a link down below and if I do forget please remind me uh, and we'll try to have it. So you can go in, sign up. It takes about two to three minutes to sign up. It doesn't take long at all. And what goes on from there is that they will send you uh, an occasional survey with a lot of questions, stuff like that, give you feedback on all these different things about Halo 5 and of course probably about what other random things that they want some feedback on which is a really great way to get your opinion heard because that really cuts the chase on what they're looking for other than just trying to sift through the forums that people usually use so try to do at least do that but now I want to talk a little bit about how to give feedback. Now, there are definitely two or three different ways to really do this, but I think only one way is really effective. Now, the first way I want to talk about real quick is the Ragers. Now, this is not very effective. Unfortunately, the forums are very much littered with the Ragers. They, they feel frustrated with whatever it is, and they go on the forums, and they vent as much as they possibly can and unfortunately uh, even though that you may have some valid points in whatever it is you're upset about the posts will actually probably get missed they'll get dismissed right off the bat because uh, people just don't want to hear and listen to that nonsense so what can you do? What can you do to help make sure that your posts are going to get read and, more importantly, taken seriously? Now, when you go on and you post something or you are responding to something, there, are, there is a very, very good way to do this. The first thing you want to do is state what the problem is. What is the issue that needs to be fixed or adjusted? And be descriptive in that problem. Don't be like, I mean, this is very simple. This is, I've trust me, I've seen posts like this. It was like, uh, the BR is terrible. Okay. And where do we go from there? I mean, seriously, it, it's terrible. Why is it terrible? And that's where I'm trying to get to right here, guys. Make sure you understand this. Why is the BR terrible? And I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying, for example. But why is it terrible? And then be descriptive in that. Be as descriptive as you possibly can so they can go, yeah, okay, the BR is terrible because its uh, fire rate is just too slow, whatever it is. So they're going to sit there and go, okay, well, that's kind of valid. We're going to check that out. And then they're going to say, well, what can we do about this? So that's where the other part of this thing is, is you have to give a suggestion or a solution to what the problem is. Now, this is something that you can use in life. This is generally how people like to take feedback. They don't like to just take it and be raged at and yelled at. And unfortunately, I, I have more than <laughs> done my share of that. Trust me, I have. But I know if you're doing that, it's just going to get dismissed. So try to give some good constructive feedback because non-constructive feedback is just lost. It's just dismissed, period. But please go ahead and do that now again. And that is the whole point of what this beta was for. I mean, that's 
why we got this so early and that's why this is so unique amongst um, uh, betas on consoles because I have never seen a beta this early and this long before usually it's probably about a month or two and absolutely nothing at that point can be changed so that's just my thoughts on that so what I kind of want to discuss with the next uh, video is just talk about what I've seen in the Halo 5 beta. Now, I've, hopefully you've got some good time with this, and, and you could either say yes, no, maybe, and, of course, put your own thoughts on it as well uh, on the forums and, of course, any other means that you want to. Uh, for the beta, I, for the vast majority of it, I loved it. I thought it was an incredibly fun time, uh, especially when I got online with friends I had a great time with this beta. Uh, I saw very few things that I just thought were probably an issue. I thought the AR and the, of course, the SMG, their effective ranges were just a little bit too far. But uh, I think they're going to probably adjust that. And of course, the uh, what's the grenades? Grenades blast radius was just a bit big too. Uh, it felt like Kayla reached nuclear mini nukes uh, to me. Again, I don't know what your guys' opinion on it is, but that is my opinion on those. Um, there are some things I wanted to uh, really push for. Uh, kill cams. I personally do not like kill cams. As a matter of fact, I absolutely hate kill cams. Um, however, I do know there's people out there that do like them. Now, I personally have been pushing a lot for is like saying hey just allow me the ability to turn it off in my own custom settings you know like you kind of do for like crouching if you want to toggle crouch or just hold a crouch you can change it or if you want to change your sensitivity from four to five or to ten whatever you want to change it to let me be able to turn that off in my own custom settings so I don't have to see the kill cans because I really do hate them. Uh, I've had more than once where I've died, and of course, it goes into the kill cam. And by the time I, and it doesn't take long, but it does, it, it's enough time. And by the time I get out of the kill cam, the person who killed me has moved, and I can't find them, and I can't call out his direction or where they're going or what they're doing because that's a waste of time. That's wasted time that I that I could have used to help out my teammates. Uh, kill cams, 95% of the time, I know why I died. I don't want to see it again. Now, granted, 95% of the time I died is probably because of something I did was stupid. But that's one thing I'm definitely pushing for. Just allow me to turn it off. Um, another thing I've been kind of hinting and pushing for is is I want actually I've been talking about DLC is a little bit too is I want DLC to have a selectable option it's like you go into your your settings your your search settings uh, we used to have search settings but you'd go into that and you could select uh, you know do you want a good connection bad connection or average connection whatever you wanted to select and at that point uh, you're searching online for people with uh, with that criteria that you set. So I just thought, you know what, maybe if I had a DLC selection that I could only search for people that have DLC, that would be awesome. That way, if 343 throws out some DLC at us, which you know they will, but uh, we'll be able to enjoy playing on those maps without forcing everybody else to buy those maps. Just a thought, just a thought. But in general, I'm going to wrap this up since this uh, video is actually coming close to an end. Uh, in general, I love the Halo 5 beta and I'm glad to have experienced it. And I think it's going to be good. I think it really is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you online. This is a Crace Barton, and I am out of here.